Dr. Canzarina, we all know that after an esophagectomy, eating becomes a whole different way of life. Can you talk a little bit about diet after an esophagectomy, please? Absolutely. I think it's important for the patient to hear about the changes in their dietary habit and eating before the surgery. It is our practice here to make sure that the patient meets with a dietitian who has knowledge and has care for the patient with esophageal cancer. Most patients after esophageal cancer change how they eat. It is our recommendation that they do multiple small meals per day. The content of which is very important. Many patients believe that if they go on a liquid diet filled with ice creams and sugars, that is much more easy to put through because of the new esophageal surgery that they had. However, what's important in maintaining an absolutely balanced diet with adequate protein in that diet. My recommendation after surgery is about two weeks of liquid diet to allow the area of the anastomosis where we sew the esophagus to the stomach to heal. After that, we proceed with a soft diet and eventually after two weeks to a full regular diet. What changes for many patients is individualized. Some patients may not tolerate certain food that they could eat before, and some may find new the things that they couldn't eat, now they can. I had a patient who could not eat tomato sauce, but after surgery, he could. What's important is that the patient maintain good nutritional balance, adequate protein, certain amount of carbohydrate, and a small amount of fat. This doesn't change from their prior to the previous surgery. What changes is the amount and how often they eat because their stomach no longer can maintain the same shape and the same amount of food that they used to eat before.